Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning, to everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Aziz Rabban. I'm from the Rai Group. Uh, today, I'm going to give you a workshop regarding the new device, the syringe bond device, kind of fusion. It's an infusion device intended to deliver medication to patients, but it's at preset rates and volume. As you can see on the schematics, up and down arrow keys and run ads. Make sure the power is turned off, and then probably when you want to clean it, use a 70% uh, alcohol and a soft cloth to wipe away any residuals, any fluids on the pump, and it probably use uh, uh, alcohol wipes. As in any other device, it's sensitive to fluids, you don't want any fluids go inside this pump, otherwise the its electronics will damage. We will want also we will make sure to clean it without damaging its interior electronics. Double A size. And this battery can run for up to 100 hours. When the battery runs low, an alarm will flash, the alarm indicator, which means that you will need just to replace the battery. Another word of caution is that if you plan to abandon this device for a long time, it's best if you take out the battery. Insert, put in the battery only when you are planning to use it regularly. After we turn the on button, it asks me to select the syringe size using the up or down arrow keys to select the syringe size. It works with 1 millimeters, 3, 5, 10, and 20. Let's move on to the additional dose. For the additional doses, we have two modes. The bolus mode and the dosing mode. While the pump is running, a primary infusion, we can infuse an additional dose. I use the arrow down key and I select bolus. And I press run. Now it is asking me, how much dose do you want to infuse? Run. Now it's asking me, PCA type. Now PCA stands for patient control. I'll talk about the dosing mode. That's why we need to use this game for the dosing. I have to wait five minutes until I can add additional dose, a second additional dose. For the bolus mode, there was no time restriction. If the additional dose finishes, just do it again, and it works. When it completes, you will see on the screen that your dose is below, or it is complete, means your syringe now. A syringe pump, an electronic device. We should be aware because we are inside the hospital, we have got so many other electronic equipments, so we shouldn't operate this device near the defibrillator. Why? Because the defibrillator can produce electromagnetic waves that can affect the accuracy of this device, it causes some interference. Secondly, always use a clean syringe. Do not use a cold, a damaged syringe. Why? If it is damaged for any reason, or there are some leakage, and the fluid goes inside the uh, syringe pump, the miracle will damage its electronics, and we don't want to lose it. Third, do not to put the device straight to, to the patient. Use the extension tube and connect the extension tube before you can turn it on. Let's make sure the call is securely strapped and the extension tube is well connected. Do not immerse the pump into water like any other electronic device. And also to check all the settings. Before you run it, to check all the settings. And also regarding the additional dose or the running modes, you can always hit the run and stop key. Anyone who made a mistake, this the hard key can turn it off, turn it back on, repeat the steps with, with the right settings and selection, and everything will be. And do not just clean it with ethylene oxide gas or by auto cleaning. It may damage the pump. Well, uh, disinfect it with disinfecting wipes. For the uh, alarm and the reminder function, 
At the end of the dose, you heard an alarm, and the alarm LED codes indicate. What if, if, the, if the syringe is not loaded? You will hear a medium level alarm, and its color will be yellow. If there is an occlusion coming from the extension tube, priority is high, and if it is high, then the alarm will be red, flashing in. Uh, this is the end of the workshop if you have any questions.